hello guys so in this video i'm gonna show you a system monitor app so it which will show you the real time cpu uses and the ram uses for your system and it will also show the real time graph in terms of the percent so uh, let's quickly uh, run this app and uh, then see how it performs and then we'll see uh, we will have a quick look into the codes so I will uh, first quickly uh, run it using the Python so I've already made the, the environment in the library uh, you can make environment using Python M and uh, vn command and you can call it system app and uh, if you enter then you will get an environment but as you can see i already have an environment here so uh, i don't need to execute this command but you can run this command and after that uh, you might have to uh, install these libraries uh, the one recommended is PyQt5, PyQt Graph, PSUtil, and others are just the dependencies which will automatically get uh, installed. So uh, let's just quickly run this uh, app. So for running this app, uh, I will run it from the uh, environment. So it's a system app. Yeah, and uh, pin Python, and then I will just run the system monitor app. And here is it's loading, and you can see we have a system monitor app which shows uh, the real time CPU uses and the RAM uses, and a plot in terms of. The, uh, uh, in terms of the CPU percent and the plots, uh, the X range is automatically updated for last 15 seconds. You can even go back and look at uh, for at least 15 more seconds. And then you can also plot the RAM percent. Uh, I mean, have a look at the RAM percent. It's already plotting in uh, under the hood. So uh, this is the app and uh, you can see that it will automatically detect your system i'm running it on mac os which is darwin x86 processor uh, x86 architecture and the, this processor so uh again okay, so let's have a look at the codes and uh, the main code is the uh, as you might have suspected it's uh, system monitor.py and uh, all this is doing is uh, first we start the uh, uh, splash window so which i which simply shows the load time and by that time the system will get uh, started and it will get few uh, cpu percent for one or two seconds so the uh, we can save that load time and then also we have like a, we obtain the cpu percent from the P, psut library and we get the ram percent from also the psut library and we run it for every one second so uh, and we store that cpu percent in the uh, uh, DQ uh, object so DQ object is quite memory efficient so you can let this app run for uh, days and uh, it will not uh, take too much memory of your machine because it's not uh, uh, it's smartly storing the uh, this CPU percent and the RAM percent data and then we uh, plot it using the PyQt graph. So for plotting, uh, I use the plot widget from the PyQt as I've imported, imported that one. And then add it to the, uh, to the uh, main window. Uh, and then this plot is automatically updated. Uh, so we just uh, keep 
setting the data the x axis and y axis and uh, uh, data is set based on the uh, the CPU or RAM so that's it it's a uh, very simple app written in Python later uh, I will also make uh, the executables for uh, different platforms thank you guys